Hello, this is the fourth vlog. Uh, I do apologise for missing last week, just had a lot of stuff on. Uh, a bit stressful, different bits and pieces going on. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to make up for it with the... Uh, I've just missed a week, alright, people miss things, that's that. As I said, I, I made an apology to the 12 and a half people that watch this fucking thing. Um, but yeah, I've, had, I've, I've been put through the mill this week. I'm, um, what... As of Monday, I'll probably be about a grand a lighter, which I'm really fucking looking forward to. Because uh, my car insurance was due this week, and uh, I've got a little note on my phone here just reminding me how much money uh, they took off me. My car insurance should be £600. That's what it should be, right? But because I moved to Salford, uh, they wanted two grand off, to, off me to renew it. Two grand. Like... I, I, I left Admiral, right? Admiral, fuck him. I'm now with Direct Line and I'm paying £1,200. Still a lot of money, it's doubled it. You know, it would have been cheaper for me to build a garage and store my car in there, but I've had to pay the money. I'm not happy about it. And that's that's, that, that's one thing. If you live in the countryside and you move to a city, um, when you renew, your money pays for their Christmas party. That's, uh, that's not being fun this week. Really not being fun. And I'm sunburnt. Don't know if you can tell that from a... By the way, I should say I'm in Poppy's flat. Um, part of the reason why I'm sunburnt down in Milton Keynes this weekend, and it's like 30 degrees outside. We went to use a disposable barbecue in the field. The thing was just lukewarm, right? It didn't, it didn't get going. I cooked more than the fucking burgers we tried to cook. I'm a bit angry about it because we had to come back. We had a barbecue indoors, 30 degree heat with the windows open and an oven on, and then the sunburnt set in. Just sat there on the settee eating a burger burning and sulking. The only little upside to this week um, is that I got a library card for the Central Library of Manchester because I'm, I'm, I'm now at that age where I didn't think I would be but I'm enjoying reading. It takes me a while but you know I, I, I do enjoy it. When I was a kid we used to go on holiday like um, my mum and dad they used to read all the time and I'd be playing in the pool looking at them like I can't I can't understand why you're doing that get in the pool let's, let's have a bit of family time but I'm now um, I'm now that guy. I enjoy reading you know I enjoy I enjoy booking a holiday just so I know that I'm going to buy a book at the airport. That's that's the level of uh, of, of love of reading has got to now. That's bad English, um, but I'm enjoying it. So I've got the library card. I can I can print for twenty p. I've already utilised that because I had to hand him a notice this week at work because I'm off to Edinburgh Festival to go and host um, AAA's early show, Pleasant's Courtyard, seven fifteen. Buy your tickets, and the the library card's great. I get I take a book out for eight weeks probably take me fucking 16 weeks to read it so I'll, I'll pop back in can I renew it yeah of course you can Harry you're a slow reader and once again I'm back in the car exactly where I said I didn't want to be you know I said I didn't want to be there but we are here um, Sunday no it's Monday now it's, it's been a bit of a mad weekend isn't it the weather's been ridiculous ridiculously hot so that's that's the excuse of why my fucking wig is everywhere but it's just been unbearably hot, you know? I've been walking around supermarkets, not buying anything, just cooling down. Spent an hour in Morrison's. As you can see, I've got a new car as well. New, another Skoda, but this time it's in Cortez Grey. Uh, well happy with it. It's got an armrest, which I'm fully utilising. Like, look at that. I could come up here if I want. But I like it down here. I feel like a captain, you know? Like, where are we going, Stargate? to Manchester, that's where we're going. But I like it, it's got cruise control, feet are true and really off the pedals, both hands on the steering wheel, because my car insurance, as you know, fucking shot up. Admiral, that's for you. Um, <laughs> geez, how was that? Um, but yeah, I like it. Camp, the back of the car's full of camping stuff, if you can't see, you probably see a sleeping bag there. But absolutely chocolate, but we've got Bunsen burners, we've got battery packs, we've got air beds. Got a ground sheet because I want to protect that little that little nice tent of mine. Got a good week coming up as well. We've got a gig tomorrow night with uh, uh, XS Malarkey, um, which is middle of Manchester, and that's with Joe Lysit, which they've said not to announce. But this is coming out on Wednesday. The gig is tomorrow, so fuck them. Um, so that'll be good. And I've got a meeting as well because I'm I'm filming something in a couple of weeks with a, a mate of mine, Rico, who is a very talented cameraman. So I'm well looking forward to sharing that with you people. You and the, the 12 and a half people, as I say, that follow me, that care to watch these, whatever it is I'm trying to build. 
some momentum and be cruise control. We're at 80 miles an hour. Now to uh, take the other Skoda back as well, because I have to exchange for this. Took it to this uh, place called Ronnie's Car Wash in Milton Keynes, which is, is run by a woman who wears a bomb bag and she just stands in the middle of all these cleaners around these cars. There must be like 40 men on this site working on all these uh, all these cars. But this woman with the bomb bag, she's like the Capitano. She's got this like mafia feel about her, you know what I mean? She just she looks with it. I think they're all like Eastern European. Um, but she looks she looks fierce. I don't know what's in the bomb bag, but I reckon a few families are, you know what I mean? A few secrets. That's why some of the men work there. Let me see my family again. Clean car, I open bum back, you'll see children. Okay, that is how it goes. Work harder, work harder. That's, that was my impression of her. She was lovely to me, but she just had a bit of a, you wouldn't want to fuck her off, you know what I mean? Shining up a window the wrong way, she comes over. You'll do it wrong, little boy. You meant to have good fingers, you're fresh to, you're fresh to job. Ronnie's car wash has a bit of an advertisement for that. <laughs> Unwanted advertisement for a lady with a lady with green bum bag. I can't find you. You clean car. They charge me 15 pounds. I gave her a tip just because I was scared. You ever seen Taken? She was the people that arranged the kidnapping. That's a bit fun. She just washes cars, but she she just had a bit of a, a presence about her. You know, like she'd seen some shit. I reckon she got into cleaning cars because one time she had to clean a body out of the back of one. That's what I reckon. Look, we can make company out of this. We do a great job. We clean car, we get rid of bodies. That is how we do it. We open Ronnie's car wash. Body extermination clean. Lost it a bit then. Eastern European, I kind of need to work on. Um, but yeah, she got it. 15 quid. Little rub and shine. I'm happy with it. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll actually do some proper stuff this week and we'll we'll get back on track, guys, because I feel like we've missed out, okay? And hopefully when you see me next, I'll have some shit. Look at that. Back with McIntyre, man. Right. Um, I'm going to carry on driving and listen to my podcast because... Uh, and I'm going to go to gym tonight as well. So I'll see you soon. Watch out. It's coming on Wednesday. Let's keep putting my, my cruise control on and off. You clean car or I kill you.